put this every morning at your door and you will see how your day is going to be. What are these things you need to put every morning at your door for you to see what God is going to do in your life the rest of the day? Please don't always make this mistake. Always have it in mind to do it every morning you wake up from the bed. There is something you need to put in at your door, at the entrance of your house. Before you go out, you do it. For you to attract the word, the attention of heaven over your house and over your life throughout the day and the rest of your life. Because you will keep on doing this thing. Let it be part of you. Master it to be part of you. Once it's part of you, you will see that you will always conquer in all the days, all your day-to-day -day activities. You will see things working so easily for you. Please always be spiritual because the world we are in is a spiritual world. Yes, the spiritual controls the physical. Whatever you are doing in this life should be, should be spiritual. Don't always be the physical kind of person. Always be in the spirit. Always be a spiritual person. Once you are a spiritual person, you will see that things will not be taken taken to you on our ways. Life will not be on our ways to you. You will always conquer in everything you meet on your way in life. As you watch, be patient. And you will see what to be doing, what and what to be doing every morning before you leave your house. God bless you as you patiently wait for me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marvelous. In this channel, we share the word of God. Yes, we pray to the glory of God and we give you spiritual tips. We show you tips of how life should be and we show you many subnatural things to use. When you use these things prayerfully with faith, trusting God and praying it, praying to God, you will see how God is going to use these things to intervene in your life and to give you your desired miracle. As you wait patiently, God bless you. How are you going to make your day to be fruitful? And how are you going to make your day to be full of peace and joy? This is what you're going to do. Before we venture into this thing, I'm going to show you. I want to ask you, Christian, are you a born again Christian? Have you given your life to Jesus? Is Jesus at the center of your life? Who is your shepherd? Because the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's Psalm 23 verse 1. Who is leading you? Who is controlling your life? Who is controlling the day-to-day -day activities of your life? Are you the one that is doing everything by yourself? If you are the one, please retrace your step and allow God to be the one leading you. When God is leading you, your life will end well. What do I want to say here? Always start the day with God. Most of us, because of our busy schedule and tight, busy schedule, we, we always move without involving God in our life. Let me tell you, that work you are doing, who gave it to you? Is it not God? The life you have, who owns it? Is it not God? The money you want to go and make, who gives you the power to make it? Is God. The Bible says, I've given unto you power. He said, I am the Lord that gives me to power to make wealth. God is the one that is giving you power to make wealth. How? God is the one that is helping you to succeed. See, without the mercy of God in your life, you will not be anything. He said in his word, my mercy are new every morning and the bible say i will show mercy on whom i will show mercy if you find yourself succeeding or making it is not by your making is by the mercy of god he found your body so don't take it for granted and feel it's because of you can blow grammar no or because you, you have intellect no or because you are wise no it's just by the mercy of god that is that, that you are where you are today so don't take it for granted. Always involve God in your life, in your plan, in your schedule. Before you move out of your, out of your house, please commit your ways into the hand of God. If you have not been doing that, please do it from today. Create a time with God. 
be someone that always have a time with your maker. He is the owner of your life. If you decide to be doing things anyhow, what if God take away that life from you? Will you have life to move about again? What if God allowed the enemy to struggle with sickness? Will you have the power to move again? Please pause and think and use your head. Before the devil use your head for you. Involve God in everything you do. Don't always be the one that will always be, hey, I know it, I know it. You don't know anything. Life outside Christ is confused life. It's unfulfilled life. You will not end well. Mm -mm. When you don't have God in your life, you will not end well. Try everything you are doing in all you are making, in all you are getting. Please involve God in your life. You will benefit more. Create a time with your maker. Create a time when you will be talking with your father. Maintain a bond with God. Have a bond. Maintain a relationship. It's just like husband and wife that are living in a, in a house. And they don't relate. They don't communicate well. They don't interact well. There is no bond between them. That marriage will not last. Or a son or a, and a father or a, a, a daughter and a mother. You don't relate well. Your daughter doesn't talk to you, doesn't speak her mind to you, doesn't, you know, she doesn't lay out the way it is in her heart to you. My dear, you will lose that child because by the time she will get into trouble, you might not know. That is how it is with us and God. Create a time. Even if you are the one that used to work early in the morning or maybe mark out a time, maybe 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Create a time. Put it in alarm. Where you will wake up and spend, even if it's 30 minutes with God, worship the King of Glory. Appreciate God for who He is in your life. Commit your life, your family, everything about you, your job, your everything. Let God be the one in charge. Once God is in charge of your life, you will not miss it. You will not be stranded. And things cannot come to you on a ways you don't know. Sudden evil will not happen to you. Sudden destruction will not come to you because you will always be there to protect you and to preserve you. That you are going and coming now is not because you, you are smart. It's just mercy that is covering you. The day the mercy will be lifted from your life, you will be wasted. I'm here to encourage you. Please make out time with God. Make out time to serve God. Make out time to make God your everything. Make out time to involve God in all your tight schedule, in everything. Please always make out time for God. Pray every day. Read the word of God. At least, even if you cannot read Bible, download Bible in your phone. Read it. But our advice to have a hard copy. That's why you're a Christian. You need to involve God in everything. The world we are in is full of wickedness so that you will not be wasted on time. Commit your ways into the hands of God so that you will succeed in everything you do. I know you know it. You know it. But at least let God lead. Please, let God lead. The place you're living in, you don't know what they do in the night. Let God lead you. That office you're working, you don't know who your boss is. Let God lead you so that you will not be cut short on time. Because of your children and your generation, please involve God in your life. Commit the children God has given to you to God's hand. Commit your family to God's hand. So that you people will end well in life. You, it, it might be so sweet now, but you don't know what will happen tomorrow. It's not always so rosy. Remember, it's not, life is not always so rosy, 100%. If you don't involve God, it's not always so rosy. But when God is in the boat, it will not crash. No matter how hard times will be, no matter how difficult life will be, no, if God is in your boat, it will never crash. It will not sink. Involve God in the boat of your life so that your life can be peaceful. Especially this new year, 2024, involve God in the boat of your life so that your year will end well. 
so that your plan for the year will, will be actualized, so that your intention for the year will be go will set to you, so that God will give attention to everything that concerns you. Please do this, and you will see God show himself mighty in your life. Do you find value in this video? Please hit the like button. You love what I said? Share this video to your friends and your family. So one will be encouraged for this video. Are you seeing me for the first time? I've not followed this channel. Please do well to follow us on this channel to the glory of God. Yes. Put up your comments. What did you understand? And God will keep lifting your life. Thank you for watching. And see you in my next video.